Well, it looks like Ubuntu is dropping 32-bit support. Of course, the question is, does it really matter? Let's discuss. So it looks like in less than 10 years, Ubuntu has had three controversies. We had the first one probably way back in 2011 when Ubuntu switched from the previous GNOME desktop to the Unity desktop. I'm sure you guys remember that one. I have to admit, as a Windows user, I found that to be rather amusing. I thought Unity was great. I used it. I liked it. And I found nothing wrong with Unity as a choice. Just a few years ago, Ubuntu switched again from the Unity desktop to the GNOME 3 desktop. Uh, admittedly, not my favorite desktop environment, but it's nice to play with and nice to look at. And there was controversy about that. I had mixed feelings about that, about that one. But after speaking to one of the team members at Ubuntu, it made sense why they did. And now Ubuntu is saying adios to 32-bit support. Does it matter? This is my perspective as both a Windows user and a Linux user, various forms of Linux. Currently, my favorite is Ubuntu and its various offshoots of Ubuntu, including Ubuntu Mate, Linux Mint, and so forth. I've been using Linux since 2006. I've tried many different distributions, distro hopped, as we like to call it, and I finally settled on Ubuntu Mate, what you see here. It just works pretty good for me, and I find myself using Linux 80% of the time in Windows, 20% of the time. That's how far Linux has come along since way back when I first started back in 2006. But here, here's the thing. If you've never liked Ubuntu, have had no plans, have no plans to try Ubuntu, does it really matter? Probably not. For those of us like myself who used Ubuntu, liked it, and continue to use it, I have the Ubuntu, the standard Ubuntu operating system on one of my uh, test laptops. It looks fine. It looks great. I have no really any big problems with it aside that it's a little bit on the slow side, but hopefully that'll get sorted out as the years go by. And what about Windows users? Well, as I like to joke, forget about it. Uh, Windows users who have tried Linux, didn't like it, maybe they say Linux sucks for valid or invalid reasons. Windows gamers who love their Windows machine to, uh, machines to play games or have to use Windows for whatever reasons and they, have, they will never use Linux. To them, it really doesn't matter either. And here's the thing, here's the beauty of Linux. You have choices, you have other choices out there when it comes to your favorite uh, Linux-based operating system. You don't have to use Ubuntu. So Ubuntu will survive, Linux will survive, history does repeat itself, and in the end I fear, well I don't fear, but I think this is really much ado about nothing, or as, a, as we like to call it here in the States, a big fat nothing burger. Ubuntu will continue to thrive, in my opinion. It is and it remains one of the most popular Linux-based systems in the world. Now, whether you love it or hate it, that is certainly open to debate. And of course, the latest decision certainly is up for debate. I get it. There's always two sides to a story, both positive and negative. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Maybe we can have a live show about this to further explore this debate. But for now, I wouldn't worry about Ubuntu. I wouldn't worry about Linux. Linux was and remains a fantastic product of human engineering. And I'm saying that as a Windows user.